Hi, I'm Janelle Bros, host of Farm News 5. Our team was in New Orleans recently for AFBF's annual convention, where they joined up with the Louisiana Farm Bureau's video production crew. Together, they documented President Ann Lisa Bednarski's visit to a sugarcane farm and raw sugar mill. Hi, I'm Avery Davidson, co-host of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, and welcome to Louisiana, where we are proud to host the 100th annual meeting of the American Farm Bureau Federation. We're in New Orleans on Barone Street at the site of the Immaculate Conception Jesuits Church. It was on this spot in 1751 where Jesuit priests first planted sugarcane. Today, Louisiana is home to close to a half a million acres of sugarcane production. Over 14 million tons of cane is grown in 24 of our 64 parishes with an economic impact of $2.6 billion to our growers and raw sugar mills. Now, in its third century of production, Louisiana is producing about 20% of the sugar grown in the U.S., providing 27,000 jobs. Sugarcane is grown on 439 farms in Louisiana. One in Iberia Parish near the town of Generet is owned and operated by Ronald A. Bear Jr. His father started it in 1946. He knows his grandparents farmed sugarcane as well, which makes him the fourth generation. But he suspects it goes farther back than that. We grow 3,200 acres of sugarcane over here, and for every planting, we get three crops off of it, sometimes four and then we'll let it sit idle a year and replant in the fall using the whole stalk. This would be our second best crop ever. And the uh, price is above average, so we're gonna do very well. And hopefully, the, you know, it'll, it'll keep on. And we've had a couple good years before that, so we're, we're very happy with, with the uh, progress we've been making. Sugarcane is processed at 11 mills in Louisiana, down from 34 40 years ago. The reduction in number has everything to do with improved efficiencies through mechanization. Just a few miles down the road from Ronald A. Bear's farm is St. Mary Sugar Cooperative. David Thibodeau is the general manager of the facility where they've been turning cane into raw sugar for the past 72 years. The sugar cane is brought to the mill. We weigh it, we test it, it's what we pay the farmer on. And then we bring it into the mill. We discharge it from the cane carts or the uh, trailers and we bring it into the process. And once we bring it to the process, we, we run it to three sets of revolving knives and we uh, bring it to the um, mill floor and we do the crushing. We squeeze the juice out of the cane, then it goes through a clarification uh, process, a uh, uh, evaporation process, and a crystallization process. The raw sugar comes out of the centrifugal and goes to the warehouse and the uh, blackstrap molasses goes to the five million gallons of storage tanks that we have to store. Louisiana's sugarcane millers and growers are represented by the American Sugarcane League. Since 1922, the trade organization has abided by its mission to sustain success in its industry through positive legislation, research, promotion, and public education. Jim Seymour is its general manager. Since almost our inception some 200 years ago, legislative activities have been crucial to our existence, uh, protecting our industry and growers from uh, uh, foreign subsidized imports. Dating back almost to our beginning uh, in the early 1800s, we've been fighting this battle. And we continue to fight that battle today uh, on legislative work, uh, primarily in Washington. And of course, anytime you're in Washington doing legislative work, uh, you've got to find other common interests to help you. And that certainly involves uh, our friends in the beet growing uh, areas, the sugar beet growers, sugar cane growers, in America always come together in a unified front and approach our, uh, our members and delegations and congressmen and administrators in Washington to make sure 
that, uh, that our industry has sustained. The unified effort is crucial to our existence and crucial to the successes uh, that we've been able to achieve in Washington. Whether it's sugarcane farmers in Louisiana or sugar beet farmers in Michigan, there's commonality between the two. The crops themselves may be different, but the farmers are not. Hand in hand on policy issues, they're committed to growing a commodity that results in sugar that's safe, sustainable, and feeds America.